It's Fantasia. So The Sims 4 is having a lot of error codes right now. So I wanted to make a video talking about it because just recently I talked about how I'm having the 804 error code in only one of my save files, but there's actually an error code that's happening a lot more frequently to a lot of simmers in the community right now. And that's the error code zero. So this is where you're trying to save your game and your game won't save. Like you just get the error, which is really, really, really unfortunate. If you've been playing for hours, if you play this game to escape and you know, you made all this progress, and then you can't even save your game. That would be so frustrating. I can't even imagine. I have not experienced this yet, but now I'm really scared that I'm going to because I feel like it's gonna happen because the amount of people who have been saying it's happening to them, just, oh my goodness, it's crazy. So I really hope this gets fixed soon. But today we're gonna be talking about some things that SimGuru and Nick actually addressed, ways you can fix this, little workarounds. So hopefully maybe something will help you guys if you're having this error code. But first let's go ahead and do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Logan. So they said, this is happening to me as well, but mine won't let me save. So this is on my video about the 804 error code, which I'm gonna like get into that as well. But yeah, they're also having the error code zero because they can't save. All in all, like all these error codes that are happening, plus like the broken wedding pack, this is a lot, like this is making a lot of people not even be able to play their game and that makes me so sad. So let's get into the tweets because I really, really hope if some of you guys are experiencing this, you know, this can help you. I might go ahead and do these things in my game just to kind of prevent this error code from happening because I just, I have a bad feeling that it's gonna happen to me. All Alright, so getting into tweets, this is the first one that I saw and basically SimGuru Nick is responding to Michael and it says here, the game failed to save error code zero. So this is what's happening when people are trying to save their game. And SimGuru Nick says, yes, please find the bug report below. This is something we're actively investigating. Were you recently doing anything with wedding cakes? So apparently this can happen when you're doing something with wedding cakes. So go ahead and comment down below if you're experiencing this when you don't even have the wedding pack or if you weren't doing anything anything to do with the wedding cakes at all because I have seen some people say I don't even have the wedding pack and I'm getting this error code. That's interesting but I will have the links down below to these tweets so if you guys want to go here and report it if you are experiencing this then definitely do that. Then SimGuru Nick tweets, hi simmers we're actively working to fix error code zero. I've been testing a potential fix that has worked on the majority of player provided saves but not all of them. So I'd like to humbly request more save files. I need to verify this gets fixed for all players not just most. Same with the previous tweet. I will link this one below as well. Also, a very important note, SimGuru Nick says, in the meantime, please try using save as as a workaround. This is actually really important. I feel like I have never trusted the save in the game. I don't know, ever since like the Sims 3 days, I never just save. I always do save as. Maybe that's why I haven't experienced this yet. Comment down below if you're experiencing this error when you're actually using save as. I do that every single time. This might be the most helpful for you if nothing else is working. So SimGuru Nick says here regarding error code zero, I have a couple workarounds that should prevent the error code from happening. I highly recommend all players do the following two things. Thread incoming. First, disable join a career from your neighborhood stories. Do this for other and my households. So does this suck? Yeah, because this is like a new feature, but apparently this can help you. So definitely do this. Make sure your game, like when you open up the neighborhood stories, make sure it looks like this. Then it says here, next for players that own wedding stories, do not set a cake for your wedding event. If you currently have pre-existing events that have cakes set, cancel those events and reschedule them. See how in this screenshot, there's no wedding cake selected, do that. Okay, so just literally make sure that your game looks like this. If you're planning a wedding, just make sure this looks how this looks here. SimGuru Nick is not sure if this is going to fix already corrupted saves, but maybe it will. So let me know down below if any of these things work for you, especially this one. I'm honestly really curious because I mean, this is a simple workaround. It's kind of frustrating that this is like a new feature they put in the game. And now, you know, we have to take off join a career. But if you're someone who plays your game all the time and you're like really upset, you can't save your progress, then I definitely think disabling just join a career is worth it in that sense. So that's all like the information I found on this error code zero. So now let's talk about the 804 error code again. So this is not like a recent error code. So I'm not gonna talk about it too much and I made a whole video about it. However, I just wanted to touch on it again. So it seems like more people actually have this error code than I thought. And like from 
based on my comments, like quite a few people are getting it now. Like I know it's been around for a while, but it seems like more people are dealing with it now, which is super strange. I can't help but feel like it's like something to do with wedding stories. It seems like all of these error codes are just happening after wedding stories. Now, as for the 804 error code, this one is pretty tricky because it depends like when you're experiencing it. So this one, it's not going to prevent you from saving or anything like that. So that's a good thing. It's not gonna like ruin your game progress. However, you know, it depends like if you are dealing with it the way I'm dealing with it, where it's happening only in one save file when I'm trying to go to the hospital. So that means that my hospital is corrupted, but I can't get to the hospital because the only way to get there is to have a sim travel there. So it's not like a lot that's like placed in one of the worlds. So that's the downside. So there is some like fixes that have worked for some people when they're having this error code. And that has to do with just like uninstalling, reinstalling your game, repair your game, take your mods folder completely out, move your sims in and out of the household, move them onto an empty lot, um, delete your cache. There's a lot of things like that you can do that actually have worked for people and move your entire mods folder out, not just your mods, like your CC, everything. Just take your mods folder out, put it on your desktop. So those things have worked for people, but in other times that doesn't work and it's just the save file itself, which is my issue. I actually talked to another modder as well and yeah, it's just literally within the save file. So they couldn't even fix it either. So... <laughs> If you're in my boat and that's kind of what you're dealing with, the only thing you're really going to be able to do is transfer all your sims to a new save file. So to do that, you're going to have to save all your sims to your library. If you have like a lot of family tree stuff going on, that's going to make things harder. But you can restore everything with mods like MC Command Center and stuff. It might take a little bit of time, but it's possible. So that's kind of the route that I'm taking. And also, if you are having the 804 error code, but it's not with the hospital, if you're trying to travel to a different lot, like one that you can actually access through the world maps, then in that case, pay attention to what lot it's happening on. And then you can actually just go into the lot without your sim, just like, you know, go into the map view, go in and chances are you might have something placed on the lot that's like off the grid. Like with using move objects on, you might have like an object that's slightly off the grid or anything like that. So what you're going to want to do is turn move objects off and just kind of see if there's something placed that would be causing an issue and if not I mean the simple solution is just literally delete the lot and just place a new lot you know and then you should be good to go so if it's a problem like that it's actually pretty easy to fix the 804 error code but if you're dealing with it when it comes to the hospital anything any sort of lot that you can only get to with get to work that's where like it's a harder thing to deal with because there's no way to get there i do really wish the sims team would kind of add a way to get to the hospital and stuff because i feel like it would obviously avoid these types of issues from happening but you know that's not in the game so what can you do all you can do is just transfer your sims over to a new save file, which is really unfortunate. But if you're able to do that, then definitely go for it because I mean, it will make your save file like fresh again. It could be a good thing in some ways. It's going to be like a tedious process and it might take you some time. But in the end, your game will probably run smoother. You'll be glitch free, you know, because a lot of times these error codes happen in saves that are pretty old. Also, like I did note, like in some cases, it could be a mod or custom content causing this. In my case, that's not the problem, but definitely definitely make sure to take your whole mods folder out. The entire thing, not just your mods, your CC included. And then if your problem is fixed, what you can do is move in your mods and CC slowly. Do the 50-50 method, which if you don't know what that is, you basically, it's tedious. You're going to have to open and close your game a bunch of times, but you just basically like move things into your mods folder slowly. You know, don't just like drag everything in all at once. And then you can kind of figure out what is causing the issue. And yeah, because sometimes it's like one piece of CC. I remember I had like one thing, it was like a bed frame or something and it was glitching out my game. Isn't that crazy? Like it's just so weird how one little thing can be literally breaking your game. And of course, repair your game after you take your take your mods folder out as well and delete your cache. If you really want to be 150% sure, then uninstall your game and reinstall your game. Just back up like your uh, Sims 4 folder. That's pretty much everything I want to talk about you guys. If you're having any other error codes, comment them down below. And those of you guys who can't save your game, I'm so, so sorry. And also those of you guys who watch my modded family LP, um, it is coming. I just need some time to transfer everything over and then we'll be good to go. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it because you're all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. The